Hey, welcome back. So I originally wanted to do a makeup video, but then life happened. And this morning slash afternoon, we went to, me and my boyfriend, we, we went to go uh, tour some places to live because I'm moving out of this place and into a new place with him because it's unfair to my roommates for both of us to be in here, I think. And then also we can get in a lot of trouble. So if my landlord and you're watching this, I don't know what I just said. I had amnesia momentarily. Anyway, here's what I did today, kind of, and also anecdotes with Auntie C because I feel like most of my viewers are minors and if you're older, I can still be your auntie because I'm probably older than you unless you're 23 and older, so. Well, also some people also have like aunts and uncles that are like 12 and they're like 30, so you know, family trees are fun. Um, so here's some anecdotes that I think are of mention. Um, so the first place we went to, it was like a pink house and it was like a quadplex because it was this huge house, two stories, except that they had turned it into four individual apartments. So it's like, we have to go upstairs, this really narrow stairway. And then it was like immediately the living room was had a, uh, a bookcase built as like the stair rail. And then it was like our bedroom, which is kind of like my size bedroom, but like half of that. And then the bathroom is kind of the same size, except there's no walk-in closet. Like, that, that's a lot of space and a lot of garbage because I'm a borderline hoarder. But yeah, it was it was really cute and cozy, except that um, the other tenants were three older gentlemen and one of them is nosy, according to Miss um, R, I will call her, because I don't want to give out any names and stuff like that because um, you're not renting the place, we are. Um, I don't think we're going to get it though, only because... We looked at a third place, but I'll get to that momentarily. The second place we went to was actually locked and it was really funny because we had just gone to get breakfast at uh, Dunkin's. Oh, like I got my ice almond milk latte with vanilla and a natural espresso shot. And um... we came home and she called us around like 1240 um, and she's like, hey, like, are you guys here right now? I can show you. The place or whatever and so we go to the place we had passed by it earlier because um like the pictures that they have on the the website that we were looking at it looks like its own individual place except that it's in unit a so it's like oh like is this like a duplex is it another quadplex is it a triplex or whatever so we looked at it and um it's not what we had imagined at all so basically where we were going to live if we had like signed the lease or whatever it was basically a a side door kind of on the side like um if you've ever had like a back door like to the backyard or whatever uh, or like a door on the side which is like basically like it leads to the side of the house to go to the backyard and front yard except that the gate that the lady had had was locked and she did not have the key so that was great and she called to like the property manager or whatever and they whispered on the phone about something i think my eyeliner's crooked i don't know um yeah, it was locked and she couldn't get in, so we couldn't like see the thing. And she's like, well, if you guys want to look at other properties, you can go to like da 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 this website or whatever, and you can look at the other ones and your price range and stuff because we weren't able to see that one. And then so we're looking at places when we go, uh, like we come back home or we're just like, oh, whatever, like we'll probably just go with the first one because this first, uh, the second one, we kind of didn't like, especially since we weren't even able to see it. We just saw the pic, we were going off of pictures that we saw online. So we thought like, hmm. Let's go with the cheaper option. It's a little bit farther, but I can take the bus. I don't mind. I, I'm basically on campus all day, and then my boyfriend can just come and pick me up later on. Um, we had found a third place online, and it's basically its own house with two two bedrooms and one bathroom, and we really liked it. But from the pictures, obviously, it, lo it looks like a nice little quaint house. Even the listing said cozy two-bedroom home, so that was really nice. And uh, give me one second. I'm trying to drink black coffee because I need to be an adult and stop drinking sugary drinks. But yeah, so I have to go to work at 2 p.m. and my boyfriend has to go to work at 8:45. And so like he calls the property. He's like, "Is there any way we can like go look at it right now? Because my girlfriend has to go to work and I have to go to work at at so and so time. So it's like, can we just go and look at it right now?" And she's like, no, like, it'll have to be a two. And he's like, okay, is okay if I go by myself? And she's like, yeah. So, like, the agent sets up the tour and we see that it's the same lady. We'll call her Missy because she's very conservative. She's, like, covered head to toe. She has a turtleneck. She has a large cardigan and, like, these really long black flowy pants. 
and then like an amethyst necklace or whatever so she's like super like you know hoity-toity she even told my boyfriend like during the tour she's like oh like is anybody else living with y'all like or, or like what is her relation to what is your relation to her like me i'm the her and he's like oh like that's my girlfriend i was like there's something wrong with that because um most couples in this area it's just, like bible belt borderline basically um they basically she basically is implying that like oh we're heathens and we're sinners and like that's fine because she's not the property manager she's just like the agent facilitating it basically like, she would make a sale off of us we wouldn't be dealing with her we would have to like call a maintenance number and stuff like that well since it's a house property we basically have to fix everything ourselves um there was there was dogs in the back there was like uh the gate was fucked up um Something else my boyfriend told me, but like once once we get, like actually go to the place, I'm gonna visit it tonight. We won't be able to get in, but like I can see the property and stuff because the backyard is huge and the kitchen. I fell in love with the kitchen. It has like little white trimmings, uh, kind of like a like ice cream shop. Like it's like rounded, like you know those scissors in elementary school that had like the rounded ones. It was like those really cool scissors. Like one of them was zigzag, one of them was round, and another one was like hearts or something. If I'll put a picture if I can, but um. It's, it, the trimming looks like that in the in the kitchen and it's a really small stove so like I can get like a little um like TV dinner table to put next so like our appliances can stand on that but that was the life update part basically expect some moving stuff some decorating so that's more content for me and more money we get to spend basically but yeah other than that I went to work today that was fun ish kind of it was super slow it was super boring and then I um, I gave some uh, some food away to these big buff dudes who held the door open for me. They were super chill. I went to the vape store because uh, my boyfriend vapes now and he broke the chamber in the vape and I think that's really funny but he wants to get it replaced so I have to be a good girlfriend and like you know look at that and see how much that would be to replace and then I stopped at work at my other job to drop off food over there and it was popping it was like eight co-workers it was really really funny they were like, oh, do you want to come in and work? And I was like, no. So that was funny. And then now I'm back here. I sent some emails out. I got my fruit and my employee meal. I'm making cookies later. But since one of my roommates is already home, I can't film in the kitchen because then she's going to be like, what the fuck is this dumb bitch doing? Which is, you know, in part true. I really want to do a, like, what's in my bag video because I feel like I'm like, the mom friend who was like prepared with them, like I have chapstick, mouthwash, like a little portable toothbrush, you know what I mean? Like stuff that you wouldn't really think that you need, but in like a situation that's like, you know, an emergency, you would probably need it, you know what I mean? But yeah, um, what else do I need to say? I'm gonna try to upload weekly. Um, this is just like housekeeping stuff. Like if you wanna click off, click off. Thanks for watching. But uh, I wanna upload weekly. I want to try to upload weekly. I am going to do a makeup video. I'm planning it. I'm going to do a what's in my bag video. I'm going to do more videos like this, which is basically like, um, this is like the first video of the series. And I want to do like what, what I did today or, um, what did I do? But it's, it's not necessarily going to be like a vlog, but it's mostly going to be like a voiceover with music in the background and then like aesthetic shots or like good, like B-roll film of, uh, you know, like, stuff that I actually did today. Like, maybe I can get, like, a cool shot of me making, like, coffees at work. I, I'm not probably not going to be able to film at my second job but just because I'm going to make videos about where I work for that one. And mo it's going to be, like, half negative, half positive because it's not super difficult, but you need to put the pedal to the metal and you're going to have to put some elbow grease in and stuff like that. So it's not necessarily an easy job, but it's also not super hard. And I complain about it a lot. So, yeah. But I can also do like stuff like studying. I don't bullet journal, but I, do, I have started regular journaling, which is basically just like cataloging how I'm feeling, trying to track my depression and stuff and how I'm feeling today. And maybe I can even like um, film, some, film, something stuff, film some stuff at campus if that's what y'all would like. I don't know. Let me know what y'all would like. The comment below if you have a request or have a question because I really do want to do a Q&A video, you know, so y'all can actually get to know me even though like I kind of share some stuff but also there's some stuff maybe people are wondering about but I don't know because no one comments anything. <laughs> Not no one but like some people, most of the people who watch my videos I get like 10 to 30 views, there'll be maybe one comment and it's from my boyfriend so yeah. 
engage with me if you want. You can follow my social medias if you want to get to know what kind of person I, I really am. You know, the, the person behind the camera on Twitter, depression tweeting at 2 in the morning. But yeah, thanks for watching and enduring this with me. And I will see you. <laughs>